I know most of y'all wasn't, you know, in office when, when that happened down there. We worked on it for probably 15, 20 years trying to get it. And we always got the same thing that the other word, the railroad property, the railroad, railroad, railroad. And I think we're still getting that. But I think somehow, because this road here, right down here, is wide enough if you want to, if the county want to spend 1% since we like they had to do down there to go ahead and harden the road. It's wide enough for two cars without even getting any more profit or whatsoever. It's wide enough for two cars. They call two cars go down there now. And that is no problem with the other way with the railroad now going down with it on dirt or uh, uh, a hard road. We still had to get permission. Yeah. yeah there, there's I still mean, issues, Mr. Yeah. Wright. I mean, it's not just that when, you, when you say it's wide enough for two cars to go down, there are standards now that everything has to be built to. <laughs> Right, if, if, which is the most expensive if you curve and gutter, which gives you the less amount of right away, but it is the most expensive. But if you go in there and just put the black top down and put your base and put your black top down, then you've got to have the right of way and all for the utilities and the, uh, for the ditching and all that. So then that's when you begin to get into serious issues with uh, CSX and their right of way. That would be under the state regulation, wouldn't it? I mean, those, are county regulations, those are county regulations on any paved road in Lowndes County. Uh, as, as, oh. of now, as of now, many years back. Well, I'm just going back what, there's no ditches down yeah. there. Many years ago, you might could do it different than what it has to be done today. But to be sure that when we are investing the ta taxpayers' dollars, that we're putting down a good product that's going to stay with us. So there are new standards. Well, since, okay. since we are saying thank you, thank you for the turn lane coming into Lake Lapal. That's, yeah. that's yeah. definitely going to be, very, many people are going to be very, well, again, because that can be a very frightening. Again, Miss Evans so thank grabbed you, me by the arm and grabbed <laughs> Tim Golden and Chad Harley with Georgia Department of Transportation. And uh, we went out there and looked at that. And yeah, it was, they recognized it right away that it was a real safety issue. You know, we could talk about it all day long to them, but until they actually went out there and physically looked at it, which they did that, and, and so she pushed that. I'm yeah, sorry, you that. said quick response. What does that mean? Quick response is probably within uh, 45 to 60 days it'll be done. Right. Yeah, if I remember from the party, when Aaron board the, the asphalt to see how big it was and got all their prep work done, I think. About two years ago, we asked for this, Commissioner Evans. We went through the DOT office in Tifton, uh, at that time, they could not move the guardrail, so we they put some asphalt down, but no paint, uh, no uh, markings. Um, she asked again. That was taken to DOT. The individuals that the chairman mentioned. That's where they agreed to the quick response and agreed that they did have enough room they could move that. Okay, now we want to move on to the boat ramp. Okay, one more quick question. Okay.